probably the first conference that I went to. Um, it's called REARC, it's a Reconstructive and Experimental Archaeology Conference, and I went with um, a group with the Anthropology and Geography Club, and it was sort of my first introduction to um, archaeology, like as an academic discipline, and sort of some of the things that you can do with it. But it was also just really a really great way to sort of network, both with other archaeologists, but also with my peers, and sort of get to know the people that are in my major and interested in the things that I was into. And it was just a really great experience and sort of set the tone, I think, for the rest of my time at Coastal. There's so many memories, but my absolute favorite, I would just have to say, is meeting my faculty members in my major. They made life so much easier so easy for me. They allowed me to do what I want at Coastal. They made me feel like this is a second home for me. They're kind of like parents to me almost. And they make me love Coastal and make me love what I'm doing with my life right now. Probably my first uh, English workshop class that I ever had. Um, it was a uh, 200 level class where we wrote poetry, creative nonfiction, fiction. And being in their environment with all artists, all people contributing content together, and getting to share each other's work and give feedback was probably the most influential moment at least. Um, mostly because you're all there contributing to a common goal, which is to create art and to create beauty. And I think that that was a life-changing experience for me. Probably the, the first reception that I attended here, uh, the December senior show reception. And so it was kind of similar to this. We had a caterer come and we had all the graphic design and art studio um, artwork up from the seniors capstone. And it was just so such a mellow night. It was kind of chilly and dark, and I was just chilling with all of my coworkers at the gallery and um, Jim, the gallery director, and all of the professors that came to visit as well. Working with the many talented people within the Edwards College, especially people in the digital studio, Michael DeGiorgio, Will Dinkle, Jansen Doyle, students and faculty alike, all talented. Made some great projects with them. Did some some wonderful traveling also making projects. Things I never thought I could say that I did, I did with wonderful people that I hope I'll be friends with for a long time. I think it's, it's sort of impossible to not be captivated by the beauty of Blanton Park. Um, it's right there in front of Singleton, which is the original building on campus. And um, being there, uh, part of the history and the, uh, the beautiful, uh, beautiful horticulture, of it too is, is just very peaceful and I think that you know almost everyone on campus walks through it at least once a day um, but getting to sit there and really take some time to reflect and work on homework whatever you need to do uh, it's a great place for all of it. My favorite spot on campus is easily Prince Lawn there's so much going on there it's just so nice and relaxing there Wall Ponds my favorite place to just look at, take pictures, all of that, so that's where I like to be. My favorite spot at Coastal is probably either outside at Einstein's or here in the Edwards Courtyard because I can just sit on the stairs, uh, do my work, put my headphones in, and sort of watch what's going on or actually focus and get something done. <laughs> my favorite spot is definitely Edwards. I'm here all the time. You can just rest under the stairs, just chill in the courtyard. There's benches, there's fountain. I love being in the studio the most because that's where I get the most of my work done and where I feel the most productive and also where I can do other work that's not artwork as well. Unlike most Edwards students, I don't really like to hang under the stairs or be in a dark depressing studio for hours on end, even if I'm doing work. Uh, the best place to hang that I have hung in is, uh, is the, the Edwards digital studio that I work in. It, off hours and even in hours, it's a nice space to be in and the people that are there are really cool. Make a lot of friends in that workplace. So I feel like that's my spot. Yeah, for all incoming freshmen, I advise just to get uncomfortable and do whatever you want to do. Just do what you want to do, like I said, and just stay the course. You get uncomfortable and you can enjoy yourself a little more, get out of your comfort zone, do things you wouldn't normally do, you'll have experiences that you'll never forget for the rest of your life. I absolutely say to talk to your faculty. Um, you know, it's one thing to go through classes and sort of take them, you know, do the work, turn it in, and never really communicate with the people that you're in your classes with or the professors that are teaching those classes. But I think something that's made a difference for me um, specifically has been being able to actually work with those faculty and sort of have that relationship. Um, so definitely, you know, go to office hours, ask questions, make yourself available um, because, you know, your professors are always making themselves available. So make friends with your professors because they're the ones that are going to push you 
outside of your comfort zone and they will help you in all the things that you need, whether it's academics, whether it's someone to talk to, I've learned that as well, and also help you to adjust to life outside of your parents' home and outside of your hometown and also figure out what your plans might be after college as well. I think that uh, freshman year can be a very um, interesting time. A lot of changes happen during that time. I think that the number one thing you need to do is stay true to yourself, first of all. Follow your passion um, because that's what college is for. You get to be in a place where everyone has a common goal as you, but yet you're still completely unique in yourself. And so if you can build relationships with people and continue to grow individually, you're gonna really thrive at college. So if I was a freshman, that's probably what I'd want to hear.